So onward and upwards. So we've covered a lot about the first quarter moon. Um, and we've also mentioned a goddess. We can also look to Sarasvati. Sarasvati is a goddess as well. And she looks at language and communication. So that actually ties in perfectly with Gemini, one of those earth signs. So then seven weeks after the first quarter moon, we have the peak of the cycle, the full moon. <laughs> and the full moon represents summer. And so we've gone from that new moon where we're in darkness we've gone through to the third quarter and um, first quarter moon sorry obviously half of the moon and we had the maiden then we have the full moon and now we have the mother so she's nurturing all of our goals and things that we've set and we can celebrate because she's proud of what we've achieved she's fertile we're going to feel really hopefully amazing unless you experience the restlessness of not being able to sleep which unfortunately some people do but we can reap the fruits of our labour so I also like to think about how that comes back to nature and the world around us we have that seed of intention at the new moon and then we had spring and now we have summer where we can see a flower in full bloom. It's a really a time for beauty. And also I like to think of forgiveness and release work here. Because although you're grateful for the things you've achieved, you can really evaluate and journal here as well and work out actually some things might not have um, appeared and come about just how you want them to. But forgive yourself because actually you've done an amazing job to achieve any or parts of what you're trying to achieve. And there's always the third quarter moon as well. And who says you just have to use one lunar cycle? That's just a guide. But it is a way to have that conscious timer to be, be present and really, really watch how things change with the added bonus of watching the moon <laughs> waxing and waning as well. Okay, so what can I tell you about the full moon? So at the full moon, the sun and the moon directly oppose one another. Um, so there might be a bit of a, a push and pull feel here, depending on what signs um, the sun and the moon are in. Um, and that would tell you topics of your life that you'd probably work with and also your planetary placement in your personal chart will be very personal to you. Um, so we have the mother, she's fertile, she's nurturing, um, we think of gratitude, we review what we've done so far as I've said, um, we celebrate our achievements and this full moon, full moons are associated with fire so you're going to be feeling energised. It's a time to make love if you so choose, to really do a vigorous sweaty workout, fuel that fire. And you'll have really high energy hopefully. You could also do a breath of fire. Look that up if you feel so inclined. Um, what else? Oh, you can dance, you can do some Hatha yoga. Um, do some kundalini, really channeling that energy right up from the base of the spine into the third eye and the crown chakra, really, really invigorating your energy. Um, so the, the oh yes, we've got the solar plexus. So the solar plexus is the next um, chakra we work with. The so solar plexus sits. Um, just above your belly button. It's that area um, all about confidence and our ambition and it should be a really really powerful place 
um, for you if you were resonating with the chakras, the energy wheels through our body. Um, and it's associated with the colour yellow. Um, so the direction we have for the full moon is south. So if you were to make offerings to um, spiritual beings or just to Mother Nature itself, so I'd like to say Mother Nature and Father Sky, the Sun and the Moon, and just generally feeling into the world around us. Um, so you'd make, direct, um, you'd make offerings to the South. Um, and there's a lot of forgiveness and release work you can do. Um, I also like to think of Ganesha at the full moon. And it's a Hindu elephant god. And there is a chant for that one as well, which I might go into at some point for you. Probably not in this video because I'm trying to pack so much in. Um, so we think also of full conviction at the full moon. Um, and the fire signs, um, they are Aries, which is the first sign of the zodiac. And Aries, it's all about your body, it's the I am. I am is the phrase we associate with Aries. Um, it's, it's spontaneous, it's about your body, your appearance, appearance sorry, your identity, your ego. Um, and it's ruled by Mars, um, the fiery planet Mars. Uh, we think of ambition, drive, but at its low end, it could be anger and rage. But of course, there's always the high road and the low road of all the signs of the zodiac and all the elements. And it's up to you to do the inner work to really be aware of what comes up for you and give yourself full permission to experience all emotions. So all your thoughts, all your feelings are valid. Just be aware of them and release what no longer serves you. You don't want that in the next cycle. <laughs> Right, what else? So after Aries, we've also got um, the fifth sign of the zodiac, Leo, is another fire sign. So Leo says, I will. It's about your willpower, your courage. Um, it's uh, about creativity and passion. And within the house, the fifth house, we also think about children as well as our creativity. Um, and then, of course, we have another fire sign, because there are three to each of our elements. So we have Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is the sign that sees the bigger picture. I often think of philosophy when I think of Sagittarius. It's the higher learning. It's really about growing the mind and travelling, um, whether that's spiritually or whether it's travelling the world. You get to decide. Of course, where Sagittarius is in your chart, you can look that up should you so choose. Um, I like to use astro.com, but there's also cafe astrology and lots of different other ways to um, find out your sun, moon and rising um, and get your chart so you can look at where all the planetary alignments are for you. Um, okay, so that's our full moon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.